those days, the the girl, the ladies in Corrie um, were were stars. I mean, let's face it. You know, we only had four channels, and they were stars. And by God, they let you know you were stars. You know, and they shall remain nameless, so they shall. But it was quite a shock to the system. All these people punching about in fancy dress and all this sort of carry on. I mean, they were all lovely, but. <clears throat> and then, of course, the fame bit comes in, and every skeleton I had in, in the cupboards, of which there were very many, they all appeared and came jumping out to smack me in the teeth. Uh, and of course, um, uh, the the fame uh, the fame was brilliant because, you know, I'm a horse racing man, and uh, you know, I was being invited to the horse races, and I was partying all night. You know, I mean, there was four years of me doing curry. I don't remember a damn thing about it. But I, but contrary to what anybody might say. I was never late, um, and I never let anybody down. I just partied and, and, and worked my ass off. So it, it was work hard and play hard, and, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And contrary to what some people have written, I never battled anything. I never battled any booze or anything else. I was just having a brilliant time. Um, and I went on, really, for uh, 11 years with the lovely Beverly, and she was very patient, bless her, and because we worked very different ways. Uh, and then Bev left, and and you know I I decided that I felt that well the writers were getting bored with the character, and I was getting bored with the writing. So we all shook hands, and I've been back nine times since. Uh, so it's all worked terribly well.